So we'll be showcasing the motion sensor unboxing at the same time connection diagram for it. We'll be using the motion sensor itself. Tester from a screwdriver, a fire stripper, a bulb. You can use any other appliance on a fire. First of all, in the box, you will get the motion sensor, micro motion sensor itself. You will also get screws. Two screws and a catalog, a sheet of paper which explains different modes, how to install the connection diagrams, how to place the motion sensor for accurate detection, and the parameters which can be controlled through it on different means. So first of all, we'll take the motion sensor. You can see there are three different modes in which the connection has to be made. So the bulb which has a live and a neutral, the red wire indicates the low wire and the black wire indicates the neutral wire. So on this sensor L dash is the load which is known as the output. So the load wire of the bulb or any circuit has to be put into the L dash. The neutral wire has to be common from the circuit to the bulb and the motion sensor. This neutral and the neutral coming from the supply has to be the common point for the motion sensor. And the live is direct live current which can be from a switch or direct three phase. So we're using directly a two pin supply to show how it's going to work. Once all your connections are done, you can turn on the circuit. The circuit starts to detect. Now there are eight analog buttons given 0, 1, 1, 0 on which you can control different parameters which is sensing distance, time and the lux. So first two, 1 and 2 is for the distance from 2 meters to 10 meters of distance on which it can detect. 3, 4, 5 is for the time configuration. So from 10 seconds anywhere till 30 minutes accordingly we'll have to set that then the six seven eight last three points are for the lux so 24 hours to 500 lux 24 hours is continuous light 500 lux is if you have 500 lux amount of sunlight coming in your washroom or anywhere where you're going to install this device, the device will not turn on. If you keep the device at 100 lux or 200 lux, if that much amount of sunlight has not been received by the sensor, the device will trigger 